Good morning. Today we're here at Kroger. We're going to check some of the sales for the week, check the shelves, and some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. So as soon as we come into Kroger here, I wanted to point out that they do have the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits on sale, two for five dollars. That's down from three twenty-nine. The reason I pointed that out first is because this is something I came in here for. Haven't seen them in a while. Glad to get a box and do our shrimp and Red Lobster biscuits tonight. One of the things that we've been showing a lot of lately is spices because they're kind of on their way out again. Uh, we've noticed that spices at Kroger, Aldi, all kinds of stores, even Walmart has been very low. So when you find the spices that you like, I would pick up a couple of them just to have. So as far as the Del Monte vegetables go, they are two for three dollars here at Kroger, which is a bit insane. Dollar fifty a can, that's the highest we've seen it. They do sell the four-pack cans for $4.99, which brings it down to $1.25. Still too expensive, if you ask me. They do have the Green Giant still 10 for 10, but we're seeing inconvenience stickers and a lot of them missing. So uh, if you like Green Giant, they are only a dollar a can. I would pick them up before they're gone. Somebody had pointed out that the Del Monte canned fruits at Kroger was $2.19. That is crazy. $2.19 a can. That's just, that's too much. So we've gotten some comments on the Seattle's Best. I'm not a big fan, but you know we've had a few people ask about it, so I wanted to point it out. It is on a digital deal this week. You can buy up to five times, makes it down to $3.99 a bag, which, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Plus, there's a variety of other digital deals on coffee this week. Still have the Keystone Meats here, $7.99 for the chicken, $9.99 for the beef, $7.99 for the pork. Does look like they have the bell peppers on sale this week, but however, they are $1.25 now. They were $0.99 cents last week, now they're $1.25 on sale this week, down from $1.39, so they raised it up a quarter. A quarter for the sale price. We've gotten a lot of comments on the cuties, mandarins, uh, $6.99 for a five pound bag. That's about the same as it is everywhere, so I mean, I don't know, still seems a little expensive, but that's what they are. They do have the one pound batches of strawberries, Driscoll strawberries for $2.99. We saw that Aldi's had theirs on sale for $1.99. And I will say these look pretty good, but you know, $2.99 here in about a month, strawberries and berries should be a lot cheaper. So we're gonna have to keep our eye out on that. We saw that for the pint size, Six ounce, six ounce package of blackberries, two ninety nine here. We saw they were on sale at Meyer for ninety eight cents this week. That will be going on till Saturday. Also, today is March twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. It's a Thursday, so if you get to Meyer before Saturday, Saturday night, uh, you can get those for ninety eight cents. That's a pretty good deal. Um, blueberries, I don't know. Like some of them are just kind of getting expensive. It's funny. This say jumbo blueberries. But they look the exact same size. One pint here for $3.49, or you can just get a pint that looks exactly the same for $4.99. And that was the same packaging. Both of them were the $3.49 ones. A couple weekly deals in the organic section here at Kroger. They have the peaches and nectarines, 97 cents a pound on the digital deal. However, they don't have the scanning codes. So you're gonna have to pull it up yourself on the app and put it in yourself, but it's 97 cents a pound. It's a pretty good deal. Not many sales on the organic apples, but I will say they are pretty close to the price of the regular apples. So, you know, if this is what you like, they do have the regular Honeycrisp apples on sale this week. $1.88 a pound, that's the cheapest we've seen it anywhere. Honeycrisp apples have really shot up. They do have the Adorbs Mandarins for $4.49 for a three pound bag. I gotta say, these taste exactly like the cuties. So if you're looking for a little bit of a better price, you don't wanna buy as much. You know, I, I know people that would probably disagree with me, but I think they taste the same. Plus they have these giant sumo oranges, two for $5. Have some random deals going on here at Kroger. Uh, Kroger, Kroger applesauce cups, $1.25 for a pack. I gotta say, they're they're pretty okay. They're not bad. It's not Mott's, but I mean, you know, for $1.25, it's pretty good. 
They do have the Kroger diced tomatoes for 69 cents. That's funny because that was the regular price a couple weeks ago. Now the regular price, 79 cents, but they're on sale. So if you need that, also they have uh, the chili ready. I mean, isn't that the same thing? I think it's just a different can. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, but 69 cents a can, not too bad. The Snapple juices and teas here for a dollar a piece. Regular retail, $1.59. They do have the Goldfish Baked Snacks Variety, three for five dollars. Got the Kroger Peanuts back on sale, $1.99. I don't see any of the Honey Roasted though, it's just the regular. They probably have some of the Honey Roasted in the aisle though. Here is a ton of the uh, egg noodles. Now we've gotten a lot of comments on egg noodles that people haven't been able to find them. $1.25 for a 12 ounce bag. I'm just happy to see they have them. They do have a big container here of a lot more of the Green Giant vegetables dollar a piece 10 for 10 uh this is the regular price on them so it's not much of a deal these will be going up we have seen that they've gone up to a dollar 19 in some stores but still a dollar here at kroger uh get them before it's gone we got a lot of comments on the alfredo sauce that a lot of people haven't been able to find the classico or bertoli um yeah there is an inconvenience sticker on one brand of two brands of the classico here obviously they can't get this brand in um, we like both of these. We usually go with whichever one is the cheapest sale, but we got a lot of comments on the Kroger brand. Now, we've tried the Kroger brand before. It's okay. We prefer Classico or Bertoli, but it is good. The traditional is probably what you want if you want it to taste like Classico. $1.79, too. And this is a 16-ounce jar. Classico is a 15-ounce jar, so you get one more ounce, and it's a little cheaper. $1.79 and it's a good option. So we see here that Heinz ketchup, the 38 ounce, has gone up from $3.79 to $3.99. Um, you know, everything's going up. That's 20 cent price raise. I'll tell you, that's that's a lot for ketchup. That's a lot for anything, really. We are noticing that not only did Kroger spaghetti go up in price, um, it's still cheaper than some of the other ones, pretty much all the other ones. It's $1.34. Uh, a pound basically but we're noticing inconvenience stickers also they slap this thing right in the middle here i wonder if they're doing this to kind of hide the fact that they're missing a lot and they they have to put these stickers up so they don't want you to think that they're not getting it in i'm not really sure this could just be a coincidence so yes we are noticing more and more of the kroger inconvenience stickers same thing that happened a couple months ago they weren't able to get theirs in all we're seeing of the spaghetti and the thin spaghetti is the two pound but honestly i would you know it's the same price same price it's a dollar well no actually a little cheaper that would make it a dollar 25 a pound so you save about a dime but you have more because you know who knows how long it's gonna last they do have the cremette spaghetti and thin spaghetti dollar 50 a box barilla down there is a dollar 80 de is 229 let's see here okay yeah Still have it on sale. Now this says until July 18th, 2022. So we'll see if that stays true. Look at this though. Okay, so this is for Kermit. Oh, so we have a inconvenience sticker. Couple of them on Kermit too. Uh, well, day to day guys, day to day. So the digital deals have ended for CPAC, but they still have it on sale this week. $5.99, which is still a great deal. We got it for like $3.97 on the digital deal last week which that was amazing we bought up like five of them but um yeah i mean there's they're running low because it was a great deal and i, I don't it doesn't look like they've replenished them but 5.99 that's two dollar savings a couple comments on the laura's lean beef now this is a really lean beef 92 percent lean they do have it on sale this week for 7.99 a little expensive for me but the regular price is 8.99 i just wanted to point out because we've had a few comments on it also the Heritage Farm uh, chicken thighs and drum legs are 99 cents a pound this week. We are becoming less and less picky because Tyson really hasn't had any sales, if they even have any in. But I gotta say, these drumsticks look pretty good. One deal that kind of stuck out to me, and I feel like they're a little pricey anyway, but the private selection Angus beef patties, uh, the six count, I mean, these are pretty big. And I gotta say, $10.99 is a pretty decent deal. They have the Monterey Jack and Fire Roasted Red Pepper. These are really good. And just the regular Angus beef. But they're normally $13.99. And this is a quick meal, something you can make really quick. Um, and, you know, they're really tasty. 
good to see they got my mild Italian sausages back on sale. Uh, $3.99 used to be the regular price a couple few months ago. Now the regular price is $5.99, but $3.99 on sale is pretty good. Uh, we usually buy up a couple when they're on sale and freeze them. And we got some BOGO deals this week. Thank you to our longtime viewer who pointed this out to me. Um, buy one, get one free of equal or lesser value. So it'll be $8.49 a pound, but you get one free of the top, bottom, or eye of round roast. Great deal. So I said this was going to happen. The pork chops have gone from $2.99 a pound to $3.49 a pound. So they've raised it 50 cents for the sale. $5.99 a pound now is going to be the regular price. Which is funny because last week $4.99 was the regular price. So they're, they're sneaking in a sale while raising up the high price, what it's going to be eventually. So, you know, at $3.49, it's 50 cents more than it was last week. But I'd buy a couple of them if you want them and uh, freeze one or two. They do have some hams over here already. I guess getting ready for Easter. Uh, they got one spiral sliced honey ham, Kroger, $2.79 a pound. $2.99 a pound for the one here, and the Cook's is $1.99 a pound. That seems a little expensive. I would think that closer to Easter, those will become a little cheaper, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is all the Tyson chicken that they have. Now, we know there's been an issue with the chicken going on with Tyson and everything. I won't go into what that is, but there's been, like, recalls and stuff on it, so that's why we're seeing a lot lower um, product on here, so... And obviously no sales when it's this low. Crazy. So I don't know what your Kroger's looks like across the country, but I will say that this particular Kroger in Cincinnati here is overly prepared for Easter to fill up them Easter baskets. This is amazing. <laughs> Candy everywhere. And we got some giant Squishmallows. Oh, Easter Bunny, please stop here. Also got a lot of sales on stuff too. It's normally $14.99, $10.49. Um, yeah, I mean, they are, they are ready. Also, we got some grills back here. Getting ready for grilling season. They do have the Kroger pork spa uh, spare ribs on sale this week. Down a dollar a pound, $1.99 a pound. That's a pretty good deal. Also, we, <laughs> we noticed that the tenderloin went up. This was $2.99 a pound. Um, now it's $3.49, but the regular price is going up to $4.99. So um, if you want one, it'd be a good, good time to buy because it'll probably go up to $4.99 next week. Also, for the family size pack of Bob Evans mashed potatoes, $4.99 down from $5.49. So a little bit of a deal. Um, way better than just the smaller pack. Uh, one half of this size is $3.99. So. So if you watched my video yesterday at Aldi, I was talking about the Charmin 6 Mega Rolls. Now this is the smallest thing a Charmin they have for $9.99. $10 for this. That is crazy. I mean, if you're going to get the smaller ones, you know, they have Quilted Northern for $6.99. Or wait a minute. Yeah, $6.99 on sale. I mean, that's $3 cheaper, in my opinion, better toilet paper. And let's see, they did have Cottonelle here. Yeah, Cottonelle's $8.99. So I, I don't know, that's just crazy. $10 for a six pack of Charmin is ridiculous. That tag on the top shelf must have been wrong or they didn't put the sale price on there because Cottonelle this week for the six mega rolls is $7. So that's $3 cheaper than Charmin and uh, this is, you know, much better. I know people, some people swear by Charmin, but I don't know. I, at $10, that's crazy. You guys have been saying in the comments how paper products have been going up all across the country. We're starting to see it here too. Toilet paper, paper towels, paper plates, all paper products. Napkins, napkins are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, you guys have been saying that all across the country and it's happening. It's, it's going up. Okay, so I wanted to show that Kroger's has gotten some major loads of potato, uh, frozen potato products, fries, tater tots. This is good to see. We've seen that it's been completely empty everywhere. We do notice a price increase though. The Arita Golden Crinkle Fries were $3.19. Now they're $3.49. So, and that was up from $2.99 a couple months ago, but then we saw it went up to $3.19. you know, I mean, it is what it is. At least they're getting them in. But I do believe that this has been part of the problem. Uh, they do have a lot of their, 
Kroger, $1.79. We've had these fries. They're good. A little bit of salt and pepper can fix anything. So we've had a couple of you ask about bird's eye frozen vegetables. Now we have seen that it's been pretty low and we see some inconvenient stickers. I know uh, somebody had mentioned the mixed vegetables. Uh, let's see, I don't see the straight corn or mixed vegetables. I don't know, it doesn't look like they have either one. Oh wait, yeah, here's the corn right here. There's the corn actually. Wait a minute, is that bird's eye? Yeah, it is. Uh, the super sweet corn actually on sale for a dollar. It's a pretty good deal. A lot of these are a dollar. The green beans. I don't see the mixed vegetable one though. So I will say this. Me and Jessica usually get a lot of the different Kroger ones. For one, they're a dollar. And two, they're delicious. They're fine. They're just like any other mixed vegetables. They have them here. A dollar a bag. Depending on what size soup you make, you may need two bags of these. Um, but I gotta say... Uh, the Kroger vegetables, in my opinion, are always top-notch. They always have plenty of the mixed vegetables for vegetable soup or anything you might be making. So we saw about a month and a half, two months ago, that they, they could not get in any of their frozen vegetables. Uh, they were saying that a lot of people were just buying, that they were getting them in. But I was here on a daily basis, and I never saw them. But more importantly, they are getting them in now, and they're fully stocked. Looks pretty good. So somebody had asked about toaster strudels. They want to point out that they have the Pillsbury ones here at Kroger, uh, at least at the one at, at ours here in Cincinnati. $2.39 a box. Comes with six of them. They do have them. So as to where there's never really a lot of frozen chicken products, uh, just really hard to get in. They do have some Kroger chicken nuggets here, which we've had these before. Uh, they have gone up. $4.99, that's up from... $3.99, but they were $3.49 not that long ago. Maybe a little over a month ago, we started noticing when we couldn't find any of the Tyson. Uh, we were checking out the chicken nuggets for people, but $4.99 now for that bag. And they do have some Tyson in, but yeah, it's it's been another issue with the frozen chicken. Uh, with Tyson, it's pretty much been like this for months, though. No surprise here. I'm actually surprised they have any. But, of course, they're just going to leave the inconvenience stickers up because they never know when they're going to get them or not. Also, $8.79 for a regular price. That's crazy. Some were asking me to check on some of the organic and gluten-free options in the freezer section. Well, I came across these. They have some Applegate Naturals chicken patties. Uh, they have the organic chicken strips. Now, you're going to pay for these. These are expensive. Uh, $8.99 for a pretty small-looking box there. They have the no sugar chicken and herb breakfast sausage. No price on that, so I assume it's a fortune. Uh, $6.99 for a eight ounce box of chicken nuggets. Yeah, this stuff's pricey, but just wanted to point it out because we got a few comments on it. I want to show that Kroger milk has gone up in Cincinnati to $2.29. That is up from $2.19 uh, about a week ago. Um, and the half gallons went up to $1.69. Those were $1.59. Might as well just buy a gallon. Um, I don't know why somebody would want to spend that price on a half gallon when you can get double that for $2.29. One thing I did just notice is the Delight Creamer. The International Delight Creamer has gone up from two nine or three nineteen to three twenty nine, dollars which is up from two ninety nine dollars about a month ago, but at least they have it in because this is something a lot of people have asked about. These, this was gone forever. Now they're finally starting to come back in. Okay, so I turned around here. They have a little side thing of... Thomas bagels. Now we saw at Walmart they were 318, and we thought maybe they might have taken one or two out, maybe shrinkflation some, but no, that wasn't the case. 318 for a thing of Thomas bagels. We saw they were 349 at Target. 419 here at Kroger. That is pretty crazy. So this has been a couple weeks, but I did just want to point out because someone said that the eggs were still a dollar 48 at Kroger. They had gone up a few weeks ago. They were a dollar 48 for the 18 count. $1.59 now, which I know compared to a lot of places in the country, it's pretty cheap. But we have a lot of dairy farmers. We're next to a lot of dairy farmers with competition here in Ohio. That's why we're able to get ours so cheap around here. Digital deals still on the country crop butter. Uh, they have the light butter, the calcium, and the regular digital deal for $3.69. It's pretty good. Save about $1.10. So a longtime viewer of the channel pointed out to us that they have the digital deals on the Philadelphia cream cheese. 
Um, I'm just glad to see they have it in. You can see the regular price is gonna be $279. That is crazy. But this week you can buy up to five times $1.49, $1.49 on the digital deal. You can't beat that. Um, buy up a few of them, you can buy up to five times. They do have the Kroger cheese, sliced cheese on sale this week, three for $6. It's a pretty decent deal. It brings them down to $2 a piece. Uh, regular price, $2.29. So yeah, save about a dollar. They also have the Sargento on sale this week. And actually this goes on until April 5th, um, two for $6. That's a pretty good deal. That makes them $3 a piece, down from $3.79. They also have the shredded cheese, the eight ounce packs of shredded cheese, Kroger, uh, three for six dollars. So that brings, that's an even way better deal because that brings it down to two dollars a piece. But regularly now they're two fifty nine, which is crazy in my opinion. But um, they do have the big packs here. Now they got the sharp cheddar here for three ninety nine for the sixteen ounce. But that's that's the same thing. Yeah, because it would be two dollars a piece for that. And you can mix and match. You wouldn't have to buy just one big one. But if sharp cheddar is all you like, $3.99. So I did want to point out for the most part, Kroger's is getting pretty well stocked up on baby formula again. It's good to see. We saw this was completely empty uh, about a week and a half ago. We are still seeing some inconvenience stickers here, particularly on, on the powder formula because there was a recall on that. But they do have a lot more than they've had in before. Uh, does look like they are limiting due to limited supplies baby formula is limited to four per customer Thank you for your understanding and we apologize for the inconvenience Okay, so as I was looking at the formula here There were two ladies that came over couldn't find the formula that they needed now They're of course checking out the Kroger version because it's a lot cheaper uh, The one she was looking at was a 48 ounce can for $47 of the powder sensitive formula of Similac now that is one, you know, I don't know if that was one that was on the recall. They did know about the recall. One lady took off with a liquid formula. They said that Target was completely out of that brand and um, the other Kroger up the road from here was out of that brand. So something to think about if you need it, you know, maybe try and order online. I told them to check out Walmart. Walmart, it seems to be the one of the biggest places that we've seen that has baby formula. And I say that to you too, if you have trouble, either try online or try Walmart. Walmart seems to be the best out of all the stores. The thing I wanted to point out real quick is we are seeing a lot more inconvenience stickers on the dry cat food. Um, seems like they have a good amount, but we're seeing a lot of new stickers here. So something to keep in mind if you find the dry food that your cat eats, I would buy up one or you know two, maybe three, just to make sure that you have it. As far as canned cat food goes, it looks like Chewy has been the best option. Chewy.com, we get a lot of good comments about them. Uh, and if you spend over $49, your shipment is free. Um, you know, check that out just to make sure, though, because I have heard that they fluctuate that, those prices depending on where you live. I will say they're pretty low, but they do have a good amount of Friskies. Frisky seems to always keep coming in. And Fancy Feast, a uh, little lower here, but we've seen it. Uh, coming in at a lot more places. Look at this. Oh, okay. So these these are $1.19. These is like a special brand, I guess. But yes, Fancy Feast did go up to $0.80 cents a can. And Friskies did go up to $0.70 cents a can. It's been a few weeks. But again, check out Chewy.com. If you can't find the, the kind that your pets like, they seem to have plenty of dry dog food. Um, and they got a couple digital deals here on the Purina 20-pound uh, digital deal 1249 brings that down a dollar and a dollar digital deal for Purina the 16.5 pounds it's pretty good but yeah they have plenty of dry dog food pretty good amount of dog food but we are also seeing more and more inconvenience stickers and dog food that we've never seen before so chewy might chewy.com might be another option for you they do have a lot of these little Caesar packets so one thing I did notice is that these Eight, these 12 packs of pedigree have gone up from $13.99 to $14.99, so a little more expensive there. Um, the single cans did not go all, oh, so they're all oh, they're on sale for $1.39. They were that was the regular price. Now the regular price is going to be $1.49. Wow. So yeah, they have gone up a little bit, and you know something when you find it, uh, buy up some extra. That's all the time we have at Kroger today.
things keep going up. Uh, we're seeing new things go up, some a lot, some just a little. With some price increases though, we are seeing things come back in the store like the fries, the tater tots, stuff like that. A lot of things that you guys have asked about. Uh, with the baby formula, you know, that was kind of, kind of crazy that two people both at once couldn't find the stuff they wanted. I was trying to help them out. I told them Walmart. Uh, so hopefully they'll either go there or try and find it online. I, I don't know what else to do. Uh, one lady said she was going to try Target, but I'm like, uh, there's not much powder formula there either. And then the other lady took off with a sensitive $47 for the Similac uh, powdered formula for 48 ounces. I was like, that's crazy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Everything's going up. Prices are getting ridiculous. When we find the sales... We have to buy up some, make sure we're getting the good deals. If we have to travel to another store, that's just what we have to do. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.